Number four, what is your take on science in terms of the universe or the, quote, beginning? What is the real purpose of anything besides finding out above question? Hmm. Well, you've asked uh, three uh, extremely <laughs> massive, overarching uh, questions. I really couldn't spend that much time to uh, humor those ideas because it's so very difficult to just <laughs> define that. <coughs> what I will say as far as universe, hold on. As far as the universe, I loved how Buckminster Fuller in his writings, he would never say the universe. He would simply say universe. He would frame sentences such as, um, when we examine universe, comma, et cetera, as opposed to when we examine the universe. Uh, the reason I find that brilliant is because universe is all-encompassing, and it's basically a, an all-encompassing environment. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Physical entity that is everything that we can think of in the given spectrum of understanding in the physical realm, or maybe even in the, you know, especially, yeah, exactly, that's good enough. Uh, and I, I think that's a great way to think about it, just arbitrarily speaking. As far as the beginning, I, you know, we see beginnings and endings in a cyclical fashion. We see cyclicality, that's for sure, in everything. But is there really a, quote, beginning to the universe in the context that you're describing? People say the Big Bang was the beginning. Well, you know, we all know that something had to have existed before the Big Bang. So is there really evidence to support that there's a finite nature to things? Maybe uh, we're a part of a larger transition. Maybe when human beings are born and they die, we just don't see the, the, the continuity there. Um, and I think it's just kind of an abstraction for us to think that things actually end. So, you know, I, that's how I would say that. I, don't really, I can't say that I, I can support a, an empirical beginning. There's probably temporal beginnings. In fact, there are temporal beginnings that are just, just that, uh, artificial representations to denote, to denote cyclicality is the way I denote beginnings. As far as purpose, uh, Jacques will tell you that there's really no purpose based on the ideas that we've concocted. Uh, we want to think that everything has meaning. It's a big philosophical debate. You know, uh, Jacques has great examples he uses to talk about the assumptions of purpose as far as creation and evolution. He tends to find that purpose happens in retrospect, if you will, uh, we're not born with eyebrows to keep sweat from going into our eyes, though it might be a natural result of that. You know, people say we have eyes to see. Well, if you put somebody in a really dark room, do the eyes have a function at that stage? Uh, I can see the logic of this, but uh, I think, you know, ultimately these types of philosophical notions I don't really care for. I think uh, there's a lot of, a lot of unique procrastination that, that is unique to think about in, philosophical, in a philosophical manner, but I typically at this stage don't have the convenience of considering such things, so I, I kind of just leave them alone.